He said, don't choose that. Don't envy your oppressor and choose their way. You understand? God said, I didn't. We're trying to save that sister's life. Read. And these are they by the wayside. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's gonna rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non violent Bible based movement. IUIC. Don't go far. Hey, what's your name, little sis? Yana. Yana. Check this out, Yana. Since you're the oldest, right? Give me Romans 10 and 1. I'm going to read something to you. Now, you said you went to church, right? You believe in God, right? And I made a statement, and I said, your churches have lied to our people. When you just learned about Christmas, right? Do you think your church is going to celebrate Christmas? Even after you just read it in the Bible, it says don't do it? They gonna celebrate Christmas. Why you think so? I don't know, some people, some people don't know that. So some, well, a lot of people don't know. Look, ain't the pastors supposed to be teaching this Bible? How come we sit here teaching it, and he sitting here supposed to be teaching it? Why is he not reading what we're reading? You know why? Because he's teaching you white supremacy. Your Christian church teaches you to serve the white man as God. Do you believe that, little sis? Hey, what's your name? You believe in God? Watch this, she believes in God. I just made a strong statement. I said, the Christian church teaches you to serve the white man as God. It teaches you white supremacy. How do I, why, why do I say that? Because in the affliction of God, they say he is white with blue eyes and blonde hair, right. but he comes from the Middle East, and most Middle Eastern people have dark fair skin, dark brown eyes, and brown eyes. What part of the Middle East did Christ come from? He came from... Do we have a map out here? Come over here. Oh, I'm not good with that. Look, look, look. You see this right here? Yes. It's, that's what they call the Middle East. What is that part of? Uh, Africa. They just sit down. See how they just lie with words? They don't want to say he came from Africa. So they gave it a new name, Middle East. Where's Middle West? <laughs> it don't make any sense, now does it? Right, they teach you white supremacy. They don't want you to know that Christ looked like you. That's right. That he had hair like yours. Do you believe he had hair like yours? Or do you believe he looked like this? The long, stringy hair. I personally believe his hair was more curled. More curled? More. Let's find out. You know, that's the one thing about us and the pastor. Hey, y'all the kids got the road. Check this out. Your pastors won't deal with the people. Think about that. You, when you go to church on Sunday, they're going to give you some songs. Right. He's going to give you a sermon. Right. They're going to give you some organ playing. The deacon's going to give you a tap dance. Right. You know, the, hey, the women going to give you a little dancing. And they're going to fall out. Then they're going to leave. And they're going to say church was good. But you went and sat there, and what did you really learn? Nothing. Think about that. Imagine going to school for 12 years, and you didn't learn how to write. You didn't learn how to read. Our people go to church their whole life and have no clue about the Bible. None. If we ask them to prove what color Christ is, even if they said he was black, they could never do it. Now watch this, Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. 
The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word of revelation is the reveal. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Show unto his servants. Guess who's supposed to be the servants? We supposed to be the servants. Read. Things which must surely come to pass. So he, he was showing us things that are going to come to pass. We should be teaching our people the things that's going to come to pass. You understand? Because the Bible gives you your history. It gives you your history. It gives you your present. And it gives you your future. We should be telling our people the future. Because destruction is coming. You understand? And he's trying to save us from destruction. So he's raising up prophets in these last days to come out and teach our people the truth about the Bible. But our people are so caught up in getting high, getting blazed, getting turned up, that they don't have time for the word of God. Perfect example. What, what, what's more important than God? What's more important than God trying to save your life? Is anybody else gonna try to make an effort to save your life? Nah. Your pastors ain't coming out here to these streets. They ain't coming to the neighborhoods to teach our people. But God sent his prophets to. Watch this. Read. To show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. So John recorded all the things that he saw. Listen to this next part. Read. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Read it again. Blessed is he that readeth. Do we like to read as black people? Do we like to read? No, we don't like reading. Black I like to read. read. I like to read. Well, oh, you're young, but most black people, they sitting there playing like video games. Like most black people getting turned up. And watch this. Have you ever read this right here? He said, blessed is he that readeth, and what? Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Guess what? Our people don't care about hearing the words of this prophecy. They too busy. They got things to do. Watch this. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white in color and wool in texture. Who has woolly hair on earth? We do. Is your hair woolly? Yes, it's woolly hair. So when you say curly, hey, guess what? It's naturally curly, woolly hair. That's Most right. of our people hate their own hair. I'm glad to see that you love yours. That's right. Most of our people, they do what? Put perm, relaxes, weave. You know what I'm saying? Wearing wigs. They hate their hair, and their hair is just like Christ. That's right. If Christ is the greatest man that walked the earth, what's a shame to be like him? That's right. I don't think they hate their hair. I just think they project it in their own way. Because braids, there's a history to braids. What's the history to weave? The history to weave, you add on to what you already have. The history of... The yes, place. watch this. Are they adding on to the afro? Or are they adding on they to the hair? Because if you leave your afro out for too long, won't it watch this. become breakable and your hair will become short? How about they trying to look like the white woman? I don't think so. Proverbs 3 and 31. White woman. So when you, so when we dye our hair blonde, who are we trying to look like? When we dye our hair blonde, it's an expression of showing who we, who we were. Ah, uh, who, who we, we are. Who? No, <laughs> who we want, not want to be, but who we perceive ourselves. Oh, God created you to, as the greatest people to ever walk the earth, and you want to be like who? Be like a better version of ourselves. How can you be better than what God created you? How are you going to make yourself better than what God created? Because How can you do that? Please. You can always, you can always be better no you matter You can be you better than God? Not better than God. But so you if know God created God. you and said you was the greatest thing to ever walk the earth, how are you going to make that better? Well, I can be even greater. How? Everybody, let's say I solved cancer. Watch I this. can help poverty. Watch this. Proverbs 
chapter 3, verse 31. Every thou not the oppressor. What did God say? Envy thou not the oppressor. You know what that means? No. Envy thou not the oppressor. Meaning, you know what? When you see something that he's doing, he said, don't envy that. Don't want that what he's doing. Right. Read. And choose none of his ways. And do what? Choose none of his ways. Choose none of their ways. We don't have blonde hair. They do. That's he good. said, don't choose that. Don't envy your oppressor and choose their way. You understand? God said it. I didn't. I didn't write the book. We're just reading it. You understand? And when our women put weave in their hair, guess what? God gave you a natural curly hair. They put a relaxer in their hair. That relaxer kills their brain cells. Right. No. Uh, yes, sis. You can look it up. You can Google it. That sis, sis, to make sis. Their hair I've been knowing about this longer than you've been born, sis. No, no. Our people got on one millions of dollars of lawsuits because of chemical relaxers destroying their brain cells, and it causes uh, what? What's the disease that's called from that? Alopecia. Alopecia. No. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, thyroids or something else? Thyroids. Yes. Yeah, it causes thyroids. thyroids. Those are chemicals. Think about it. Cancer. Those are chemicals that causes cancer right. that they're putting in their hair. You can it even war, gives you a warning on the label on the box. It, you understand these burns. things? Yeah, that's why it burns. That's why you have to get it out your hair quick. Right. It just took your hair that's, that God made so beautiful. It grows towards the sun where He's at, and they put them chemicals in your hair so it can grow towards the ground. Like this. Christ was a black man, and they hated him so much that they made him white. They put Christ on the cross and killed him. You understand? They hate Christ. They hate God's people. They hate our people. And our people don't know God. Our people think they know God because they sitting there listening to their lying pastors who never even taught them that Christ was black. Who never even taught them how you supposed to love Christ. Read that. Give me uh, 1 John 5 and 3. Because if, if I asked you, how do you love Christ, do you know? Give me John 14 and 15. Do you know what Christ said you must do to love him? Do you know a little bit? Watch this. It's very simple. John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me. That's a big word. If. He said, if you love me. Keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's a very simple thing he said. Keep my commandments if you love me. Have you ever been taught the commandments? But check this out. We were never taught the commandments. Our people was never taught the commandments. The, our command, us keeping God's commandments is what's going to get us out of slavery. Because us breaking them is what got us put into slavery. That's why when you read that flyer, it says the truth about slavery. The truth is God gave his children commandments to follow. Huh? You never heard that? Give me that in Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how God, how God raised his children. Because think about it. A mother and a father, they give their children rules, right? To follow. And when they break those rules, they get disciplined, correct? Right? You ever got a whooping? Yeah, I have. I, everybody can raise their hand on that one. I know I got them. You got them? It didn't feel good, did it? Every time when I, uh, when I didn't listen to my mom, I was in trouble. Guess what? Let me ask you something. Do you think do you think that happens when God tells us to do something and we don't do it? Do you think He punishes us? Yeah. Exactly. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said, if you didn't keep my commandments, they say, if you if you love me, keep them. He said, if you don't keep my commandments, he said, I'm going to curse you. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. It's very bad. It's, it's right. very evil. So he said, I'm going to put curses on you if you don't keep my commandments. And these are the children that he said this to. If you see yourself on the sign, these are God's children, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right here, on this side, is what God called you. 
That's what he named you. On the on this side is what the white man called you. That's right. The white man didn't want you to be called the children of God. Because God's children have a name. It ain't, oh, I'm a child of God. It's the children of Israel. That's the right. so-called black Americans, we are the tribe of Judah. That's the same tribe that Jesus Christ come from. King David, King Solomon. You come from a line of kings, royalty. But our people don't know they come from a line of royalty. That's why we've got so much hatred for one another. If I sit there and say, hey, brother, can you got a few minutes to hear the word of God? We don't got time for the word of God. But we got time to shoot. We got time to kill. We got time to cut each other out. We got time for all type of evil, but to learn righteousness on how we can sit there and help our community, how we can sit there and save our, uh, our own lives, our family lives, we don't really have time for that. Right. We're too busy, caught up, trying to play hard, playing hard while we slaves. That's our problem. We at the bottom of society, and we sick, we so quick to be gangster. We so quick to sit there and pop off and set it off when we won't set it off on the enemy. That's right. The enemy has us in captivity for 400 years, and we won't set one thing off. That's right. We're chilling in captivity. What's up, sis? What's up, bro? Hey, hey, bro. She's so interested in seeing you. Come on over here, bro. Right quick. Lock on over here. Where you there? I'll get from the top. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. And his statues, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, a little bit. You said you got a whooping, right? A little bit. Hey, a little bit. You said you got whoopings, right? Well, God said he was going to give whoopings, and those whoopings are going to be called curses. You, you got a whooping before? Hey, sis. How are you? 17. 17, let me ask you. When did you stop getting disciplined? At the age of 12. Well, check this out. Your mom and daddy might have stopped uh, whooping you, but God has it. God's still putting a whooping on our people. I want you to hear what it's called. Read it again from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, instead of a uh, whooping, I'm going to give you a curse, which is way worse than a whooping. So let's see what, type, what uh, some of these curses are. And remember, these are the children of God that he put these curses on. Check this out, sis. Verse 16, curse shall thou be in the city. What did he just say, sis? How are we cursed in the city? Are we at the bottom of society? Are we in the ghettos throughout all over this earth? Everywhere the black people are, they go to ghettos. Are we, do we not have drugs in the cities? Gangs in the cities? Violence in the cities? Are not our young brothers out here My dying brother in the streets? <laughs> Watch this. Guess what you're more probably quick to go do? Do something that's gonna get him cursed. You know what you could sit there and do? You can do something and sit here and take the time to save his life and find out what God don't want us to do. Right. See, when I hear our people say, I love my brothers, I love my mamas, I love my sisters, but yet, you won't take the time to love, uh, to learn I go how to church, to, you don't. Watch this, going to church is why our people is at the bottom. Right? That's right. Cause you ain't learned a damn thing in church. That's right. You haven't even learned how to worship God in church. You didn't even know who Christ is in church. Everything that the church does has you worshiping Satan. Everything. Cause I'm gonna make it simple for you. What day are you supposed to go to church? Sunday. What day did the Bible tell you to go? Because look, Sunday is what the white man gave you in slavery. The white man said you can be off on Sunday, the first day of the week. So what did God say? Give me that. Exodus chapter 20 verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day. What did God say? Remember the Sabbath day. He said, remember the Sabbath day. That's the day of rest. That's the day you're supposed to worship God. Right. He, he had to tell our people to remember it. Why do you think he had to tell us that? If, you, if I had to tell you to remember something, what do you know you're going to do? Okay. Exactly. Read. 
Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. He said, keep that day holy. He said, I want you to separate that day from the other six days. You understand? Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. He says, six days you're going to labor and do all your work. You understand? But the seventh day, the what day? The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He said, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What day is the seventh day? Is it Sunday? Come and look. Look, look, just take your time to look right quick. I want you to look. Hey. Well, give me Mark 4 13. Sometimes your own people be the devil that the Bible speaks of. And you know, our people hadn't realized that yet. Grandma was the devil. Grandpa was the devil. Mama was the devil. The pastor was the devil. Guess what? Your own brothers and sisters be the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Mark chapter 4 verse 14. The sower soweth the word. The sower is sowing the word. We out here sowing the word, trying to bring the sister back to Christ. Right. You, know, right. you understand? We're trying to save that sister's life. Read. And these are they by the wayside. Right. Little bit is like you. You by the wayside. You sitting around listening to the word of God, right? Where the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. When that girl was sitting here listening to the word, it said, who came immediately? Satan cometh immediately. Go. Satan came immediately and said, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Did she not leave? Yeah. Her, her brother was Satan. Her brother was Satan. Anytime somebody try to take the word from you when you sitting here listening, that's the devil that the Bible speak of. That's right. Read. Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. So the words that she was learning, how she could serve God properly, guess who showed up? Satan showed up. That's right. Satan showed up. Give me uh, John 10, 27. Satan showed up. And as you know what I like about you, sis? That you still here listening to the word of God. God got a spirit on our children that I wish our, great, our older people would listen to it. That same spirit. And that spirit trying to call our people back to God. Watch this. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. God said what? My sheep hear my voice. You hear what God said? He said, my sheep hear my voice. The voice of God is coming out this Bible. This is God speaking to you. What's your name? Atrista. Uh, Atrista. What's your name, little man? Musa. Musa. Well, y'all got some strong names. <laughs> Musa and Atrista. God is speaking to you. What's your name, sis? What is it? Ranye? Yeah. Ain't got a beautiful name too. Come here, Ranye. I want you to hear this right quick. I want you to hear this word right quick. Because most of our people ain't got time to hear the word of God. But they, yet they, everybody said they love God, don't they? Look what, look what Christ said. Watch this. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. What did Christ say? My sheep hear my voice. Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. Hey, the, the sheep, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, they're going to hear Christ's voice. They're going to take the time to stop and say, hold on. I ain't never heard this before. That's Let me take the time to hear what this Bible got to say. That's right. That Bible is speaking to me. You understand? This Bible is the history book of your forefathers. That's right. The greatest people that ever walked the earth, you're related to them. You're related to Jesus Christ. You're related to King David, King Solomon. You're related to Paul, Mark, Luke. You related to those people. Have you ever been taught that? You haven't never been taught that. That's the whole problem. Oh, yeah, my granny. Your granny taught you a little bit? What she said? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. What is your father? Your daddy a black American? Watch this. You see right here? See black American? That's what the white man called us. But God gave us a name. The black Americans come from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Judah means worthy to be praised. Are we not worthy to be praised? Are we not the greatest? You know God loved Judah. Guess who came from the tribe of Judah? Watch this. Yo. I'm going to show you something. Because he said, my sheep hear my voice. I want you to hear somebody's voice that you're related to. Because you just learned you come from the tribe of Judah. Right. Look who you're related to. Watch this. 
Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang. Who is our Lord? Jesus Christ, right? He said, it is evident, meaning it's crystal clear. Just as you got pink on, he said, it's crystal clear that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of what? Judah. That our Lord Jesus Christ came from the bloodline of Judah. That's the right. same bloodline you come from. The same bloodline you come from, sis. You're related to Jesus Christ. That's right. Did you know that? You didn't know that. Watch this. Jesus Christ looked like you. Wake him up. Do you believe that? Watch this. Who is this? God. God. For real? Yeah. What if I say that's the devil that the Bible speaks of? That's right. Mm. Let me ask you something. That's the you, you said that's God. Let me ask you something. Did white people rob and steal this land? Did they rape, murder, and kill? Are they waging war on this earth right now? Are they waging war on this earth right now? Got wars going all over the earth. Yeah, they do. So do you think that God, the greatest thing that ever happened to this planet would make these people, do <laughs> you think God would be white? No, God. Well, my sister told me he ain't no color. What about Jesus? Do he got a color? Don't Jesus got a daddy? No. Huh? God is Jesus' daddy. Don't you think Jesus look like his daddy? Yeah. So what did Jesus look like? Is this Jesus? Yeah. How you know? Because because I do. How you know? Because white people said it. Of course, they put it all on TV. No. They put it in the churches. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it up. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair. He's talking about his head, the hair on his head, and the hair on his face was what? Were white like wool. Was what? White like wool. He said the hair on his head was white in color and wool in texture. Let me feel your hair right quick. Is that wool? Yeah. Is that wool? Yeah. No, that ain't wool. That's like doggy hair. Come on. Yeah. That ain't like your hair. That's long, stringy doggy hair. That's right. Woolly hair is hair of Negro. Watch this. Hold on. I'm going to finish that. Watch this. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. Meaning it was fully gray. Watch this. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of his eyes were red. And his feet. Now his feet. Would not your feet be the same color as the rest of your body? Watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like a pink. What color is that? Brown. brown. Let's see how brown he was. As if they burned in a furnace. He said he was so brown, it looked like he was burnt in a furnace. Are you dark skinned? Is Christ dark skin? Huh? Is Christ dark skin? He said he was he looked like he was what? And his feet like a too fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. Did y'all just hear that? It said Christ was so dark, it looked like he was burnt in a furnace. And so it must be, so it must mean something to be black and beautiful to you go. Huh? Y'all mad at that? Y'all mad because Christ is black? Hey, hey, you, what's your question? So, uh, uh, God, he decided, God, huh? Mary was his mama. Joseph was his daddy. His mama. They gave birth to him. She was black. How did how did this image come to be? Yeah. Give me Job 9 and 24. No. I'm going to show you. Because who's ruling the earth right now? No. Who? White. Exactly. White people ruling the earth right now. How is that being racist? Is, is the Chinese ruling the earth? The Philippines? Are they ruling the earth? Or is the white man ruling the earth? No. The white man ruling the earth. No. Listen, it ain't never racist to tell the truth. Right. You understand? Our, our people scared to tell the truth. 
You know why we scared to tell the truth? Because we still act like slaves. You know, that's how a slave act. Boss, you that's the boss. Don't you say nothing about Matthew. Hey, guess what? God don't want you to be afraid. Because God created you better than the slave master. Watch up. Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who rule the earth? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who rules the earth? The white man. God calls them what? The wicked. That's right. Have, did they not steal this land? Huh? Did the white man steal this land? Yeah, yeah he stole it. Right. Did he not put us on slave ships and brought us here? Yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? He's a damn wicked. That's right. He's evil. That's right. Did, look, watch this. If I stole something from you and never, never gave it back, am I a thief? Yeah. Did the white man ever give the land back to the Indians? Nope. No. Did he steal a what? He's still a thief. Guess what? He kidnapped us, brought us over here on slave ships. Did he ever take us back home? No. Did he steal a kidnapper? That's right. Guess what he's still doing? He's still raping. He's still robbing. He's still stealing. He's still waging war. He's the wicked. You understand? Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He said he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Guess who's supposed to be the main judge? Jesus Christ. That's right. He covered the faces of the judges there. He made Jesus white. You understand? He made Jesus white. He covered the face of the main judge and said, no hand black, you look like me. Now we worship the white man as God himself. You don't think you worship the white man as God? Did you celebrate Christmas? Yeah. Who gave you that? Really? Watch this, Jeremiah 10 and 1. Bring it up. How about the white man gave you that in slavery? Right. That's right. You never read in the Bible to celebrate Christmas. Guess what's in the Bible though? Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Hey, we so-called black people, we have a name. We are not a color. That's right. God calls us the children of Israel. That's right. The black right. Americans, we are from the tribe of Judah. If you come from uh, hey, uh, West Indies uh, descent, Jamaicans, you are from the tribe of Benjamin. If you are uh, a so-called Haitian, you come from the tribe of Levi. You understand? That's where you come from, Levi? I mean, Haitians? Then you're from the tribe of Levi. God's chosen people. That's, right. That's who God's people are, his children. We do have a name. It's called Israel. And it's time for us to come back to our name. Read that again. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. The whole Bible is about our people. This is our history book. You know, if you was in China, you could read about the Chinese. They don't teach you your history book. They took this book out of the school. That's right. And just put it in the churches where they don't even teach you how to read it. They haven't taught you the Bible. They taught you songs. They taught you hymns. They taught our people how to be whores, how to be drug dealers, how to be gang bangers. That's what they taught our people in church. Read. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. You hear what God said? Don't learn the way of the other nations. Heathen me other nations. So what did we learn from the other nations? Watch this. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. He said, don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. That goes into astrology. What's your sign? What's your sign? What's yours? What's yours? You see how we know all that foolishness? God said don't do that. That's another form of demonic worship. Sitting there depending on stars and stuff like that to tell you your future when the Bible actually tells you your past, your present, and your future. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Watch them. For the customs of the people are vain. God said the customs of the people right here is talking about the white man. God said the customs of the white man is vain, meaning it will lead to your destruction. Now he's going to tell you one of their customs. And you tell me what custom this is. Listen close. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. It said one goes into the forest and cuts down a tree. 
The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. What custom do we go chop down a tree and decorate that tree and then what else we do to that tree? They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moves not. Is that not Christmas? Will you take a tree, cut it down, decorate that tree? Is that not Christmas? Did God say don't worship it? Don't follow that? But remember, our people gonna do exactly what? You think they gonna go celebrate Christmas? They off. He said he know the knowledge. Who know the knowledge? Hey brother, you say you know the knowledge? Big up. You know the knowledge of everything? What's the, what's our whole duty as men? What's the whole duty of men? What's the, the duty of men? Yeah, what's our whole duty as men? Serve God. How? By getting on your knees, praying, asking him for forgiveness for our sins that we, leave, that we sin every day. What is sin? Sin is when you, what is sin? Yes. Sin can be, sin can be anything. Really? When it comes to what does the Bible say sin is? The yes. Don't that what matters? Not what you say sin is, because a lot of people can say anything. Some people can just lie. So we should go by what the Bible say, right? So what does the Bible say sin is? The Bible says sin is a multitude of things. Let's find out. Let's see if it say that. First John chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin, hey, who got a Bible for my brother? I like that. Read along. I don't, I, don't, I don't follow a man word. Right, right. He can make a mistake. Nah, he ain't gonna make no mistake. Oh yeah. We do this. Oh yeah. We make mistakes every Watch day. It. You made a mistake when you said that. Watch this. We're gonna find out. All right. Okay. First yeah, John three mistake. and four. <laughs> make mistake okay. What, what scripture you say? First, First John one. three and four. The one thing about us, the Bible says, prove all things. That's right. So we don't just say stuff. We prove. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So we ain't gonna get up here and then sit around and be liars like the lying uh, Christian pastors. Okay, go ahead. Read that. First John chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. So if you know God's laws, you can do what? Keep them. So right now, if you was looking at us right now, tell me what sin we're in. What, what? Tell me what sin we're in. Since you got all the knowledge. Sin ran. No, what I sin say, we're in. I didn't say I have all the knowledge. No, I didn't uh, say that. What, you, no, what did no, you say? No, no, you can't. Right, right, right. What you oh, say? Okay, okay. I say I know what sin is. Oh, you say you know everything. Okay, tell me what sin we're in. What sin is? No, tell me are we committing a sin right now just by no, looking at us? No, you're not. What if I say, I can look at you and say you're committing a sin right now? That's it wouldn't right. bother me now. No, no, I'm <laughs> saying I can prove it. How? Numbers 15 and 38. Bring it out! <laughs> See, remember this right here. When you know God's laws, you can teach God's laws. That's Bring right. Then I can tell you what sin you're in, so you can come out of sin. Because I guarantee you know this. What's the wages of sin? Death. 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 So guess what? Me telling you the sin you're in, you can change, and it can save you from what? Death. That's right. But if you don't know God's laws, you can't save a person from a damn thing. Can you? <laughs> no. Exactly. So obviously you're not out here teaching these people to turn away from their sin because you didn't know what sin was. You just thought it was anything and everything. No. What is sin? Is, sin is anything. Hey. Sin is breaking God's law. Anything of yeah. no. anything, no. anything, no. anything but, not of God is sin. No. Sin Thank is breaking you. God's law. That's, that's so if God, if God command you to do something. Guess what? And you go against it, about the Bible. you broke his law. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he gave us laws and commandments to follow. So, when you break those things, you're committing sin. So that's what sin is. So if it's not, so the sin if it's not, the sin if it's the not a law, then there's no sin. You understand? Sometimes Watch you sin and you don't know you sin. No, I just said this right here. When you know the laws, you'll keep from sinning. So you understand? Because you can't repent from something you, you don't know. Watch this. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Did God not say study to show thyself approved? Yeah. So we're supposed yeah. to be studying the book to learn the laws. To learn the laws. Right. Speak unto the children of Israel. God told us to speak unto the children of Israel. Guess what? We are the children of Israel. Mm, that's right. Read. And yeah. bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. He said, command them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So he's giving us a dress code. 
Do you know what fringes are? No, what are they? These are fringes. What they're wearing. What we're wearing. Read. Throughout their generation. How long are we supposed to be doing this? Throughout their generation. That means forever. Read. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. There you go, the ribbons of blue. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So we're supposed to remember all the commandments of the Lord. This is a spiritual thing. He wants us to always remember to keep his laws. Read. Right. And do them. He wants us to what? And do them. do them. Read. And that ye seek not after your own heart. No, anything I think is a sin. Seek not after your own heart uh -huh. and your own eyes after which you use to go a whoring. See, once you start going off your own opinions, your own thoughts, you're going to start serving other gods. That's right. And that's what happened to our people. When we start going by our own thoughts and went away from God, we start serving other gods. We went whoring after other gods. Yeah. We start following the other nations. Mm -hmm. Read. That ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. We're supposed to be what? Holy unto your God. He wants us to be separate from the other nations. That's why he gave us those laws. Those laws wasn't for everyone. It was only for his children. You understand? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word, his word. <laughs>